Fantasy shows are playing with fire, and we don't mean pyrotechnics. Plus, some new D&D monsters and Critical Role ends on a serious cliffhanger. News team, assemble! Welcome to Fantasy News Friday, our weekly look back at some of the biggest news this week that wasn't quite big enough to fit in its own video. Now, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like and comment so that we can keep making it. Now, on to the news! Critical Role spoilers! You were born! The latest episode of Critical Role aired last night and featured an exploration of Moleusmere, the elven city where Ludinus once lived and was now corrupted by a strange miasma or uh, gloom or something evil. Hey, we also got an EXU Calamity callback with some secret writings that the party found that referenced Abria's character Lairin. And to top it all off, the episode ended on a disturbing cliffhanger as a horrifying morphing blob monster began to descend on the party just as the episode ended. However, we still don't know much about Ludinus' background or what he's planning now, now that the uh, solstice has come and gone. But maybe we'll find out next episode. Several popular fantasy shows are continuing their production without their showrunners or writers in the wake of the WGA strike. Both Rings of Power and House of the Dragon are planning to finish production of their second seasons despite the ongoing strikes. It also appears that Wheel of Time's third season is also pushing forward without its showrunner, Raf Judkins. We'll note that the last strike back in 2007 affected many popular shows and movies. Quantum of Solace, for instance, was notoriously filmed with only, and this is Daniel Craig's words, the bare bones of a script, and Heroes, the once popular NBC show, had its knees cut from it when the series had its last two episodes of its second season hastily rewritten because of the looming strike, which upset the delicate balance of the show's continuity and all of its storylines and basically sent it into a death spiral. Keep in mind that any show that's still in production will not benefit from having daily rewrites, scene punch-ups, or even assurances that the scenes that they're filming make sense within continuity without writers. So, uh, basically, uh, good luck with all that. Dungeons & Dragons has released six new monsters on D&D Beyond, all of which were originally created by patients of the Seattle's Children's Hospital. The new monsters can all be found in the Misplaced Monster Supplement and include a blueberry flinging dragon, a bunch of gardener lions, and a hooved cat creature who can turn evil things into piles of flowers. All sales from this packet go to support Extra Life. Keith Baker, the creator of Eberron, is quitting Eberron. Baker announced earlier this week that he was shuttering his Keith Baker Presents imprint, which featured expansions to the lore and rules of Eberron on the DMs Guild. Baker has one more book that will be published later this year uh, that relates to Eberron, but is moving on to some other projects. Are we done here? Roll20 is planning a comprehensive redesign of its entire VTT, with the toolbar and layer system being the first to get a much needed overhaul. Now Roll20 wants your feedback as it continues to make these changes to its system, so be sure to leave feedback when you play online. I for one cannot wait to see what Roll20 does as I find their current system to be, well, basically unusable. No sir, I don't like it. And finally, the Dungeons and Dragons movie is now available on VOD and digital. We'll have an interview with creative producer Jeremy Latcham that digs into why the movie went to home release so quickly. Uh, we'll have that video up on our channel here in the next few days. But the short of it is, is that the studios wanted to keep momentum going on the good word of mouth while recognizing that the box office was a little bit more competitive than anticipated. You know, apparently there's a little movie called the Mario movie that made a billion dollars. Who can compete with that? Who's gonna stop me? So, what new story caught your fancy the most? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.